Hello and welcome. It is uh, Wednesday. It's two o'clock, so it's going to be our PE challenges and games. This is for foundation to key stage one. Today it's going to be a little bit more key stage one than maybe foundation and nursery. And later on in the session today, you're going to need something to use as a ball. I've got some rolled up socks here, but if you've got a small sponge ball, that would be perfect, or a soft tennis ball, or a couche ball, or any sort of type of small ball you can get your hands on, doesn't matter what. So you will need something to use as a ball. You also need, will need something to use as a bat. Now I've got tennis rackets and beach rackets and all sorts of stuff here, but I've just grabbed a chopping board, which works well because it's got a handle, but uh, if not, just a, uh, a folder, a book, anything that's not too heavy for the child to hold will be absolutely great. So, mums, dads, if you weren't watching last week and didn't get the message, then you need something to use as a bat later on and you need something to use as a ball in a little bit. But we're gonna start, first of all, with a warm-up. So we're gonna start walking on the spot. So, make sure you've got a nice bit of room. If you're out in the garden, that is fantastic. It's a beautiful day outside. Just gonna move that round slightly. So just starting by walking on the spot. Now we can get our arms swinging and build it into more of a march. Start bringing those knees up and start going in time with the music which picks it up a little bit. And can we turn? And turn the other way. And turn. And next, we're going to see if we can just get a little bit of a jog going on the spot. A little bit of running on the spot. And can we start moving around the area? Mind you're not bumping into anybody. In and out. And can we go round in a big circle? And change direction, go the other way round. And can we go in little zigzags? And can we go in curvy pathways like a plane flying around? Can we make really giant steps? like a great big elephant. <laughs> and little tiny steps like a mouse. And great big steps like an elephant. And little tiny steps like a mouse. Now at the moment we've done everything going forwards. Can we try changing direction? So I'm going to go backwards. Checking where I'm going. And can I go sideways? And change direction, go the other way. Well done, can you hop on one leg? It's hard work. Can you hop on the other leg? Can you bounce on both feet? Can you skip? 
you haven't got room, that's fine. Just stayed on the spot or just marching on the spot is fine. Can any of you do hopscotch? So hopscotch is a hop, two steps, one foot, two feet, one feet, two feet. Have a go at your hopscotch. If you need to hold on to someone's hand, that is fine. So we're just going one feet, two feet, one foot, two, one to two, one to two, one to two. Well done. Hopefully you're starting to breathe a little bit harder. We've got our warm up more or less done. We're just going to have a little bit of a finger warm up. So can you wriggle those fingers? And up high and down low. Off to one side, off to the other side. Can you make crocodiles? We're snapping, snapping up high, snapping down low, snapping one side, snapping off the other side. Can we move our crocodiles around from left to right, from one side to the other? Sometimes up high, sometimes down low. You have to bend your knees to get down low. Sometimes on one side, sometimes on the other side, down low, all around. Well done. Let's see if we can get those fingers going. One finger, next finger, next finger, next finger. And keep going. Backwards. Well done. Can you do it with the other hand? Can you do it with both hands? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well done. Fingers nice and warmed up. Last little game before we get into our skills work is to play the beans game. So, remembering some of the beans we can use, we've got runner bean, we've got string bean, we've got broad bean, we've got frozen bean, we've got jelly bean. Ah, well that's uh, probably all the ones we're going to use today, so we'll have a little go. So are we ready? Off we go with runner bean. Frozen bean. Runner bean. Broad bean. Runner bean. String bean. Runner bean. Frozen bean. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Chili bean. Chili bean. Feeling chilly. Runner beans. Oh, I remembered another one we can do. Jumping beans. Frozen bean. Jumping beans, broad beans, string beans, broad beans, string beans, jelly beans. Well done. Hopefully you're all loose and ready to go. So, you're going to need your socks or a ball if you've got one. And we're going to start by just seeing if we can balance it in our hands without dropping it. So can you just hold it in your hands and not drop it at all? Ooh. Can we move around and not drop our ball?
If you're doing it with mummy or daddy or a brother or sister, can you follow your brother or sister while they're holding the ball? Good, if you've done it without dropping it, you're doing great. If you drop it, pick it back up again. Can we start to get the ball just bouncing up and down, really little bounces in our hands. If you're very little, then just having your hands moving up and down is great and the ball doesn't even really leave your hands. If we can get it to leave our hands a little bit, that is great. And you can see if you can throw it a little bit higher and still catch it. I'm watching the ball all the time. I'm watching it really carefully. I've got really nice, soft, squishy hands. My hands just cradle the ball as it lands in the hands. Just drops down a little bit as I'm catching. Brilliant. Can you do it with one hand? If any of these are too hard, just go back and keep practicing the ones before. Just doing it with one hand. Can I do it with my other hand? Now I'm right-handed, so this is more, a little bit more tricky with my left hand. If it's too easy, throw it up higher. If it's too easy, throw it up higher, do it faster. Can you do it from one hand to the other hand? Now that might just be if you're little, you might just be placing it in the other hand, just putting it from one hand to the other. If you can manage that, then just try going, whoa! Left to right, right to left, without dropping it. Excellent, well done. Can you throw it in the air and do a clap? Can you throw it in the air and clap on your shoulders? Can you touch your head and catch it? Can you touch your head and catch it? Oh, it bounced off the ceiling. Shoulders and touch it. Can you throw it in the air, touch your waist and catch it? Can you touch your bottom and catch it? Can you, I might not be able to do it in here because it's really low ceiling. Can you throw the ball in the air, touch your knees and catch it? Oh, there we go, try again. You can always pause the video if you're watching this later and practice on any of these. Now I definitely won't be able to do it in here. The ceiling's not high enough but could you throw it in the air and touch the floor and then catch? Are we ready? Huh. Oh, almost. I don't think I quite touched the floor. Really tricky one. Some of you older pupils will be able to have a go at that. Can we throw it in the air and do a little turn? And do a little turn. And do a little turn. And keep doing little turns and still catch the ball. Watching the ball all the time nice soft hands how big a turn can you do and still catch the ball oh i did a half turn let's try again oh a half turn again if you're outside if you've got a nice high ceiling you'll be able to throw it higher and do more of a turn let me know if you can do a full turn and still catch your ball well done so moving on we're going to bring something that we're going to use as a racket if you've got a tennis racket and a tennis ball, then that is absolutely great. You can use a tennis ball and a tennis racket for any of these, but I'm just trying to pick things that I know that everybody will have at home. So a chopping board, a book, a file, a clipboard, anything you can use as a solid object, anything you can use as a ball. First skill, can you balance the ball on your racket or bat. Now actually, my socks make this really easy because they're not very round. If that's too easy and you've got a ball, see if you can do it with a tennis ball because the tennis ball will want to roll off of your ball, off your racket much more. If you need to hold it with two hands, that is absolutely fine, but we're working towards trying to hold it with one hand if we can. If you're a little e, you need to use two hands, that is absolutely fine. I don't know who did the washing up last, one of the boys I think. This needs a bit of attention, this chopping board. There we go, so we're going to see if we can balance it. And if you can balance it and stand still, the next step is, oh, can you balance it and walk around? Oh, if it falls off, don't worry, just pick it up, 
pop it back on and off we go again. Can you walk around and balance the ball on your bat? If you've got a partner, you can see if you can follow your partner around your area. And when somebody says swap, you'll swap over and change who's leading and who's following. Swap. And swap. Watching the ball all the time, looking where you're going, trying to keep your bat really flat so the ball doesn't fall off. If it's too easy, can you go faster? Swap over who's leading if you're having a partner working with you. And swap over who's leading. Are you managing to keep up with your partner? Very well done. So, we're going to see if we can bounce the ball. Now, if you haven't got a bat, or you're finding it too hard with a bat, we can just go back to doing this without a bat at all. We can just bounce it up. I can just see if I can bounce it with two hands, or I can bounce it with one hand. You can do bouncing without a racket and just with socks if you need to. But if you've got a racket or a bat of some sort and a ball, see if you can pat it up nice and gently. And if that will work with socks, let's have a look. Oh, it's actually <laughs> a bit harder with the socks. <laughs> so you've got to uh, uh, play around with some of these uh, bits of equipment, just see what is harder, what is easier. Depending on the age of the children taking part. So we go from, can we do it standing still? Again, if you need to hold it with two hands, that's okay, but try and hold it in one hand if you can. Can you do it and walk around your area? And if you've got a partner, can you follow your partner? But maybe your partner's not bouncing the ball, so your partner can just walk around, or your partner can just balance the ball on their racket, and you see if you can follow them whilst tapping the ball. So the leader is just balancing the ball, and the follower is tapping the ball. And change over, so that the person that was following is now leading, and the leader is now following. So the person leading, just balancing the ball on the racket. The person that's following, see if you can follow them and tap the ball as you go. Change over who's leading. Keep going. And change over who's leading. Now, if you're both doing brilliantly at this, you could both tap the ball. So you could have the leader and the follower tapping the ball. And if you're super duper brilliant at it, you could go a little bit faster and see if you can lose your partner, or you could lay out a little course on the ground with some cones or some markers and see if you can go round a little slalom course tapping the ball up. Brilliant. So, Lastly, we're going to see if we can tap the ball down. Might want to start just with our hands. This will not work just with socks, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> oh, no, no chance with socks. But if we've got a ball, can we bounce the ball down? And you can see I start with two hands. Can I pat it down with one hand? Can I pat it down with the other hand? Can I pat it down with alternate hands? Left, right, left, right. 
that's something you go away for and practice for 10, 15, half an hour, an hour. Practice away at that until you've got it. Can we do it with a bat? So just seeing if I can pat the ball down and keep control of it. Well done. See how many you can do before you make a mistake. So here we go. I'm going to have a go. One, two, three, four. Oh, it bounced away. I've lost it. Four is my record. I'll see if I can beat it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, I've lost it. Five is my new record. See how many you can do without losing control of the ball. Have a competition with mum and dad, your brothers and sisters. Who can do the most downward bounces without losing control of the ball? Can you bounce the ball and move around your area? Oh. If you've got a very even floor, it's easy. If you're doing this outside and the floor isn't very even, you're going to get the ball pinging around. If you've got a partner, can one of you lead and leaders just balance the ball on their bat? And can the follower see if you can follow them by tapping the ball? And change over. Remember the leader is just balancing the ball on their racket and the follower is bouncing the ball down. And swap over again. And well done. So we've done some throwing catching practices. We've done some balancing practices, we've done some tapping up practices, we've done some tapping down practices. All of those you can go away and have a little go at and practice with. Mums, dads, we're looking to get children active for 60 minutes a day. Don't feel you've got to do that all in one go. Maybe you go out in the morning, see the sun's out, out you go, have a little 15 minute play. Come back in later in the afternoon, have another 15 minutes play, try and build it up. We're looking for 60 minutes a day of moderate exercise, so that's something that gets them feeling a bit hotter, feeling a bit out of breath, brisk walk, little jog out on the scooters, some of these videos. Have a go at your uh, Lincolnshire school games, but Lincolnshire virtual school games competitions. New one every week coming out. Have a go at some of these skills. Anything you can to get preferably out of the house and active. We're going to finish off with our little cool down, which is what I was looking for the number of the track before. I think it's 17. So just to cool down and calm down, we're going to reach up really tall, up onto our tiptoes, all the way up fingers really high let's wiggle those fingers and our arms are like branches on a tree and we're blown to one side and to the other side and we're blown around in a bit of a circle all the winds change direction blown around the other way and the leaves are coming down down and we're wiggling from one side to the other and our hands are going from one side to the other until we finish on the floor and we can have a nice little relax. Whew. Children, you just stay relaxed on the floor for a minute. Mums and dads, hope you're doing okay. Have a little play with these. You can always pause it. Have a go at some stuff. If you find it's too tricky, go back. Do some of the easier stuff. This is trying to suit a quite wide range of age groups. So don't worry if your child's like finding it a bit too tough because some of this work is, is clearly for like year twos 
and your child may be younger. So enjoy, take care, look after each other. Bye. Hi Warren. Hi Dad.